The ability to take one for all is something that is not meant to be possible in the world of My Hero Academia. In chapter 59 of the manga, All Might explicitly said to Deku that one for all could not be taken by force and it can only be transferred when the user wants it to happen. Despite this, events in the Heroes Rising movie, coupled with what's currently going on in the manga right now, it all leads me to believe that it's possible this rule doesn't really matter anymore. As a warning, this video will contain spoilers from the manga to provide evidence for what I'm saying, so do watch at your own risk if you're an anime only. Also a quick announcement, my first ever Q&A will be happening on this channel next week, so if you want me to answer your questions or theories, then head on over to my Patreon and you can leave any questions you have in the comments of my latest posts. Because this is the first one ever, I'll be answering at least two questions from any person who submits them, so be sure to get your questions in. But with that said, let's get into the video. For those of you who are confused as to why One For All can't be stolen, there's actually a pretty simple reason. As we know, One For All is not a naturally occurring quirk, but rather it's the combination of a power stockpiling quirk and a transfer ability. The original transfer quirk belonged to All For One's brother, and the nature of it was such that in order to transfer quirks, the user had to pass on some DNA whether it be hair or blood or whatever else you can think of. Crucially though, the person transferring had to want the transfer to happen, otherwise you can literally just sneak up on Deku whilst he's sleeping and then eat a strand of his hair and steal one for all. Because of this defense mechanism, All For One himself was never able to acquire the quirk despite encountering all the different users throughout history. As a side note, we've seen how people in the same families can have similar quirks, so it's no surprise that All For One, you know, he's a guy who can both steal quirks and transfer quirks, it's no surprise that he had a brother with just a transferring ability. Too bad they didn't have any other relatives because that family line could have been super OP by this point. Back to the main point though, the first on-screen hint that we got that One For All could be stolen was during the Heroes Rising movie, and spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen it yet. During a scene in the woods, Nine used the power of All For One to try and steal One For All, giving us our first bit of evidence regarding the topic of this video. For those that don't know, Nine was given a duplicate version of All For One and had the capacity to steal a maximum of 8 additional quirks. As Nine begins to absorb One For All, Deku thinks to himself that it's about to be stolen, which is not the thought process of someone who has confidence in All Might's words that it couldn't be taken by force. We then see the vestiges briefly appear and Nine is then prevented from acquiring the power. And when I first saw this moment, I assumed that this was the safety mechanism of One For All kicking in and you know, not allowing someone to take it away without consent. However, because Nine can only steal 8 quirks, he realizes that the reason he couldn't take it was because One For All has multiple quirks stored inside it from all the previous users. This includes Black Whip, Float and several others that we haven't seen yet as of recording this video. And remember this guys, Nine had a scanning quirk that allowed him to determine people's abilities, and he had already scanned Deku prior to, you know, trying to steal one for all. When he did this examination, he saw nothing about any additional quirks. The only reason he realized that Deku had more quirks stored up inside him was because Nine's own body physically could not handle them. If the reason he couldn't take it was because the defense of one for all prevented him from doing so, then there's literally no reason why he would know that information. I mean, it's not like the quirk was actually transferring to him in that scenario. So how would he know? I mean, he scanned Deku, didn't see the additional quirks, and yeah, it just, it just wouldn't make any sense. That lets us know that he was actually telling the truth in this moment when he says the only thing preventing him from acquiring the power was the lack of space within his own body. As you would expect, Horikoshi was supervising the creation of this movie, so this hint that One For All can be stolen, it wasn't exactly left in there by accident or anything, like he would have he would have been very much aware of what this scene is implying and yet it was still kept in the movie. When we look in the manga, there is even more material to support the idea that it can be stolen and it actually ties into Heroes Rising as well. Firstly, Shigaraki's upgrades at the hands of Dr. Garaki has leveled him up in every conceivable way. Not only does he now have All For One, but his basic level of strength, like without any quirks, is comparable to All Might. His Decay quirk was also upgraded pretty substantially, giving him new abilities that might be easy to miss, but for example, he can decay the ground in a controlled way and avoid destroying certain things, like this army of Nomus for example. If you want to know more details about how Decay has improved, then I broke that down in a different video which is in the description below. These upgrades show us for the first time that the Doctor is able to modify and improve individual quirks and allow the user to surpass the limits that were previously in place. This is important because on top of upgrading Shigaraki's body and his Decay quirk, 
Garaki, obviously, you know, like I said, he gave him the original power of All for One. Given that Decay was upgraded in several ways, then of course the same would apply to All for One. I mean, why wouldn't it? Shigaraki is Dr. Garaki's masterpiece. He's the pinnacle of over a hundred years of quirk research. So yeah, of course he's getting all the upgrades that are available to him. Before Shigi's operation, the doctor specifically said that once it was over, even one fall would be within his grasp. And at the time, we didn't have any context for what that meant. But now that we've seen the way that Decay has improved, it's clear that the manga was trying to tell us that All for One is now also at a level where it can surpass the defenses of One for All. This theory of mine has even more evidence when we consider that Nine himself was genuinely just a test run for Shigaraki. Like, the sole reason this guy was given All for One was to just test things out. The doctor even said it himself everything was for Shigaraki. And when Nine received this quirk, Shigi and AFO were casually just in the other room watching. Because Nine was a guinea pig, it's possible the reason he was capable of stealing one for all, you know, I mean, he wasn't able to do it because of his own personal body and issues, but it did seem he had the capability to take the quirk. And perhaps this is due to him having a slightly tinkered version of All for One, similar to the version that Shigaraki would eventually get. Also, once Shigaraki received All for One, the consciousness of AFO himself was commanding him to go and steal one for all. In my opinion, it would be pretty pointless for the voice to tell him to get the quirk if he wasn't actually capable of stealing it. And I also think it's pretty unlikely that Deku would ever willingly give the power over to a villain. In fact, I'm pretty sure he'd rather die than do that. So the reason AFO is commanding Shigaraki to get one for all is because he is confident that it can be taken away by force. If all of that is still not enough to convince you that the game has now completely changed, I have a few more comments to make. Gran Torino is someone who has known three different generations of 1-4 users, not to mention he's been involved with at least three different battles with AFO himself, most recently he fought AFO at Kamino, and during that battle he said that AFO's quirks were different from the last time, meaning that he was also involved during All Might's battle six years ago. And of course, on top of that, he was there way back in the day when AFO killed his friend, Nana Shimura. With all that experience with All for One and One for All, it goes without saying that of course he knows about the rule that One for All can't be taken away, right? With that being the case, why is it that in the manga, Gran Torino tells Deku to stay back because he's worried about the possibility of it being stolen? Similar to what I mentioned earlier about the Heroes Rising movie, this is a person who's aware of the rule it can't be taken, but yet seemingly either forgets about it or just straight up doesn't even mention it when it would be relevant to do so. Taking that at face value, you could argue that maybe Horikoshi regrets establishing the precedent that one four can't be stolen, and perhaps these are just, you know, subtle hints to let the audience know that it's something he wants to gloss over and just forget about. Let's just be real, like, if you think one four can't be stolen, why are you even worried about that? You should be more concerned about Deku's safety rather than one for all as a quirk being taken. Anyway, to recap so far, it is highly likely that Shigaraki's new quirk upgrades have leveled up All for One in such a way that it can bypass the defenses of One for All and steal it. On top of that, in situations when it would have been relevant, both Deku and Gran Torino have seemingly forgotten that One for All can't be stolen anyway, which is maybe Horikoshi trying to tell us to forget about what we saw in Chapter 59. Other possibilities I didn't mention include the fact that Shigaraki might be able to use All for One in such a way that it lets him extract the stockpiling quirk from One for All. The reason All Might was confident it couldn't be taken away was due to the effect of the transfer quirk. It was the transfer ability that prevented One for All from being taken due to its established rules. But if Shigaraki was able to somehow take only the stockpiling ability from One for All, that would allow him to bypass the transfer quirk's defenses because he wouldn't be taking the whole quirk. On the rare chance that this does actually happen, one for all would still exist in some form inside Deku, as he'd retain the quirks from all the previous users, such as Black Whip for example, it's just that the stockpiling power would be lost. Alternatively, as unlikely as it sounds, maybe the reason that Dr. Garaki and AFO were so confident that Shigi could steal one for all is because he has some kind of quirk stocked up inside him that allows him to alter the will of individuals. A quirk like this would be the easiest way to trick Deku into passing on the quirk if indeed One Fall actually cannot be stolen still. But to be honest, Shigaraki doesn't need a quirk like this. I mean, he's already strong enough. So uh, yeah, I'm going to hope this doesn't happen. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you of the opinion that the quirk can be taken? Or are you still of the belief that Horikoshi is sticking to what he said about stealing One Fall being impossible? 
The Patreon Q&A on my channel is coming next week, probably next week Sunday. So do be sure to submit your questions on Patreon if you're interested in that. Peace out.